Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on Rain of Grace, and this is page two. Page two. Uh, it looks like I need to turn this down just a bit. This is going to have a simple um, waterfall. The waterfalls are going to be four by four finished. So, you will need... Four, four and a half by four, four and a half by four, square half inch on the four and a half inch side. And this is going to be a cascade down. And then you're going to have one that is four by six and a half, four by six and a half. It's going to be the part that comes up and holds the waterfall in place. Okay, I'm going to ink these edges and lay it down. I'm planning on putting the waterfall on this side. Um, I don't really want a, a castle in every on every page, so I'm going to cover that castle up and the lady up with the waterfall on purpose. <laughs> now, depending on you know what purpose you're going to use your album for, the alternative is you put the waterfall over here and then you preserve this. But for me, I'm going to keep the flowers and put my waterfall over here. So. I'm going to stick a pin in this, see if I can't get my flow to improve. Oh, good grief, there's so much glue on it, it might not even go in. It's not a pin, it's really a paper clip. Hopefully that helps. Yep, definitely did. <clears throat> okay, again, we're on page two, and this is build two, page two, build two. Okay, now my, my total waterfall is going to be six inches. Once I stack it, it'll be under here. So I'm just trying to in, uh, get an idea of where... I want it to start and stop, and I think I want it right about there. So I'm gonna get my Tim Holtz ruler and quickly measure sort of, you know, how far it is from the bottom. Actually, I think I like it a little bit better there. And that is, It's an inch and uh, one eighth, an inch, or an inch and one sixteenth actually is what it is. So I'm gonna put my reference line right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put my bottom up in first. <clears throat> okay, I've got a magnet on here. Okay, so the other thing you're gonna need is one of these, which is four, should be four by three. Four by three. And that's gonna go right next to this, like so. And then this, the waterfall's gonna get stacked on top. Boy, what a difference when I opened it up. Okay, so that goes here. And then we're going to add our four waterfall panels, which are four inches across, four and a half inches tall. You're going to score a half inch on oops, half inch on the four and a half inch. So you're going to take this edge of the waterfall and it's going to push right up against this. Normally I go top down, and then you can see this is gonna come up and close them. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn it around so I can see it a little bit better.
There we go. Beautiful. Okay, now we'll turn it right side up again. We're going to add our companion magnet. So maybe if I can get it apart. There we go. I'm going to add a glue dot. Okay, it's nice and nice and tidy. Sorry, that's the insert. I'll go ahead and move that out of the way. Okay, now I'm going to alternate my patterns between this beautiful floral and this stripe. This floral is from the 8x8, uh, as well as the mat that we're working with. So that's for the waterfall. So start with the florals. Aren't they pretty? can't tell if there's really a direction. I think, I think this is it. Yeah. I'm looking at the leaves to try to figure out what the orientation is. Looks like I've already got these inked. So these are going to go in really quick. <clears throat> I'm excited. This weekend, today is Monday, by the way, I'm going to a retreat. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm going to spend some time with my sisters and my crafty friends. Should be fun. Do some planning for my next project. A little bit of everything. Okay, now I'm going to add the stripe. And like I said, mm, I thought I inked it. Uh, like I said, I'm going to alternate the patterns. So the next one will be a flower. <clears throat> and this was the alphabet page, which they were pretty, but I just didn't see how I could use them in this book. Too big for an 8x8. Eight eight. There would be a good scale for a 12x12. 12 12. Wow, what a difference. I'm so glad I took the time to unplug the glue because it's really flowing nice and smooth now. Should have done that sooner. Okay, another stripe. Yeah, I guess I did the flowers and not the stripe. So there you go. Again, just to remind you, we are on page two, bill two. I'm going to reverse my pattern. So we'll do floral, stripe, stripe, floral. So these are never the same. These remind me of pajamas <laughs> for some reason. Not the flowers, but the stripes. Which is funny, because I don't think I've ever owned a pair of pajamas that look like that, but it just seems like it to me. Ooh, that doesn't look square. Hmm. It is, but it didn't look like it. It's the stripes are doing an optical illusion, I guess. Now, I went back and forth about up and down or side to side and I like side to side like this but I like the stripe up and down showing peeking out from the bottom so that's how I came up with that I like to try to talk through some of those design decisions um, 
because it'll just, you know, just things to think about when you're doing your own designs. Oops. So for those of you that are new, that's kind of my methodology, just sort of a stream of consciousness. I just sort of talk through what I'm doing and why I did it. <clears throat> Okay. The reason I'm placing it up against the waterfall each time before I start to add glue is just it's a dry fit. Um, I used to say it all the time, dry fit first. DFF, dry fit first. Because um, it's hard to lift it back up if, if you need to turn more off. But I've kind of gotten away from it. <clears throat> saying it that is I still do it I'm kind of curious and I hope you guys will respond to this in the comments below but I see a real change um, happening in the mini album space perhaps even in all of paper craft um, so we kind of went through you know mini albums and 3d and card making and then things took a real sharp shift to day planners and even that seems to be falling off um, the more I go to my craft stores the less I see what's going on um, are you guys uh, not doing paper crafts anymore or are you like me and having to find everything online kind of curious um, we have seen a drop in our overall sales which sort of indicates that I hate to say it but that the, there's a downward trend in paper crafting in general so I'd love to hear your thoughts on the on the subject and whether or not you've picked up a new hobby um, or a new artistic endeavor and what that might be okay so I need to find a couple more pieces to finish this up. So I need to do the front and back here, and then I need to find a floral for down here. And I think I've got a floral handy in one of these squares, which are, oh, even that works. How about that? Maybe I'll just add that. Because it doesn't look like I've got any more. Oh, no, I like this better got any more of the um, 8 by 8 left. So I could add floral, but it'll be a different scale. That won't look good. I don't think any. Anyway. Okay, so we'll go ahead and add this, and you can put a little sentiment here on the bottom. Okay, now the next thing is we're gonna find, looks pretty. That could have been the first one too. So keep that in mind. Um, I didn't realize I was short one. Sometimes I don't put this panel down here and I just have it open so you can put a photo, but I wanted to cover it because part of her head and the, and the castle was cut off and her dress was cut off and there would have just been this weird center. So that's why I went ahead and put, put the black mat behind it so it would cover it up entirely. Okay, now I need a cover here. So this needs to be six by six, none of these will do. <clears throat> oh, look, there's more. <clears throat> so I'm gonna have a whole bunch of four by fours cut. All right, let's find something suitable. I like it. Now it's actually upside down, but I like it this way. And I think I'm going to actually wind up cutting the dream off. So we'll see. If not, I'll probably turn it right side up. Oh, let me measure this. Is it six? Oh, you know what? I said six and a half. It's actually... Oh, Sorry about that. Um, hopefully you haven't laid it down yet. It's six, four by six. So the finished is four by five and a half. Yeah, I don't know.
trying to decide if I can live with that butterfly sticking up there. It's not a whole lot I could do. I could shift it and do that. That's it. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Oops. Good night. I can't seem to... My fingers aren't working. I've had so much inflammation and arthritis these last couple of weeks. I don't know what's going on. I keep looking at my diet going, what am I changing? Because it certainly seems worse. Usually when it warms up, I feel better, but... Old age is hard. <laughs> there is some text down there, but I don't care. It's really faint. I like it this way. Somebody would have to really point it out. Okay, I need another piece for here. And I want it to be, I think, kind of solid. That's too narrow. Is this wide enough? It is not. <clears throat> Let's do this. That's a lot of stripes, but I'm out of the flower, so we're gonna do four. Whoops, I did that wrong. I cut it the wrong way. It's a good opportunity to show you a cheat. Put it back together, tape it, and then retrim it. So I'm just going to use regular scotch tape, which I don't know why I bought this. It's the worst tape ever. I need to get some decent tape. I think it was one of those, it was at the store and it was at checkout. I was like, oh yeah, I need that. Okay, now I'm going to turn it the right way. So it needs to be four, this way, three and three eighths. Wow, I did a terrible job of lining that up. Five, five, three, eight. I mean, yeah, five, three, eight. Look how bad my line is. I should have lined it up on the front instead of the back. Although I'm surprised it was so far off. Okay, not perfect. This works a lot better when it's a busy pattern. It's easier to mask. Okay, we'll get a little bit of ink. It's not narrow enough. How did I get off so far? Okay, I gotta let it dry. It needs to be three and three eighths and it's not. So let me give that a second. Maybe I'll consider changing this since it's not wet. Well, good news is it came off pretty clean.
Okay, I'm going to try to trim this one down right. We'll see. Let the other one dry. I'll find a place to use it somewhere. Okay. I'm trying to find a way to mask that. Let's do this. This will draw your eyes to the flowers. Okay. And find a little something to tuck in there. I think I've got, yeah. things I can tuck in there like so that hopefully that will still yeah the magnets right here I may have to take that out nope it's still holding and it's still holding so that's good news so that is the end of page two back soon with page three